Two weeks ago, the Dallas City Council voted to ban a triple X event at the Dallas Convention Center. Well, now the promoters are suing the city. And today, none of the council members who voted for the ban wanted their vote reconsidered. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live tonight at City Hall. All right, Lori, what are they saying about their decision? Heather, I reached out to the mayor and every city council member who voted to ban the sex convention, and none of them wanted to talk today. One saying it's because of the pending litigation, and because those council members took no action today, organizers went ahead and filed this suit about an hour ago. No one on city council really wants to see this at the convention center, but two council members say fighting it will be a losing battle. Let's hope that before the end of the day, somebody comes to their senses and decides to save the taxpayers what looks now like an unlimited liability. The lawsuit claims this is speech protected under the First Amendment. We discussed a lot of these options. City Council Member Lee Kleinman, who often votes with the mayor, agrees and broke ranks this time around voting against the ban. In my view, they were not uh, upholding the First Amendment. And I did distribute to them copies of the Constitution <laughs> and reminded them that they signed an oath of office. Two weeks ago, a long line of people from the business and faith community spoke out against the city playing host to a sexpo, arguing it promotes human trafficking and violence against women. Kleinman says the majority of his constituents wanted him to ban the sexpo, and so did many of his political donors. I've just been very frank with them, and I just said, you know, this is how I see it. Um, it's been uh, this type of use has gone to the Supreme Court for a decision. Uh, as deplorable as this may be, it's not really in our uh, purview to, to restrict it. The city's own attorney advised the council that the ban would be treading on shaky legal ground. The city has already hired two outside attorneys to defend the council's decision. Kingston says the impact has no foreseeable end. We have turned the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center into the most sought after venue for porn conventions in North America. Who wouldn't be interested at this point? I mean, you either have your convention and make money on your business model, or we ban you and you make money on the litigation. This is now the second lawsuit against the city of Dallas in this matter. On Monday, a citizen filed a lawsuit saying he wanted to attend as both a citizen and as a vendor. He said his could turn into a class action if others want to join in. Heather.